Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle. All right then, folks. Let's build a chassis for this dump truck. We're going to join all these bits together. Yeah? Okay. I just got some um, 40 mil by 20 mil electro welded box section mild steel, 2 mil wall thickness. So it's reasonably heavy. You know, it's not that light flimsy stuff, but it's not super heavy. You know, it's affordable, <laughs> that's the main thing. So you got it laid out on the bench. I've got everything cut, the angle's cut, and just clamping it down to the bench here. I did it, even did myself a little drawing on the bench, so I've got everything in the right place. And I uh, cut some wooden blocks out and just, just drill it down to the, the bench. Welding her up. Look how fast that is, eh? Okay, capping the ends. Don't leave you uh don't leave your end on display, do you? Cover that hole up. The exact moment in time I ran out of welding wire. Yeah, Fifteen kilo drum, so I never never expect it when I run out. Now we're just putting a couple of um, pieces of angle iron on the ends, I've got it all clamped together. And those bits of angle iron had holes pre-drilled to match the the holes in the axle assembly. Yeah. So they just bolt straight on there now. It's convenient. There's one side on. And tother. Okay, there's a little bit of concern in the last video that I couldn't disassemble the engine and gearbox. Uh, I've got to take it apart anyway to weld the subframe onto the chassis, but um, I'm just, just showing you here how it comes apart. Gearbox comes off, and the um, you, you can do this the other way around. But, you know, you can, I could, could leave could leave the gearbox attached and take the the engine and torque converter off, but um, and I need it all off anyway. Uh, and the the rear pulley of the of the torque converter is oh, sorry the the driven pulley of the torque converter is on its bearing mount and that lifts off separately. The whole bearing mount comes away with that that rear half of the torque converter. Um, as I'm just about to demonstrate by dropping it on the floor. Any second now. Oh yeah, but that's a sign of a precision fit. You know when you've got to take it apart of a crowbar. There we go. Drop the whole lot on the floor, but it does all come apart, I promise. There we go. And that, that gets sandwiched in between the, the mounting plate and the engine, basically. Um, that's why it's got paint on it, because I have to take it off. But obviously the mount's going to get painted with a chassis. There it is. Put some more cross members in place. Tap, 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 tap. The ones at the front um, front section of the chassis, so it's got to narrow down a bit to uh, to get between the wheels, um, and that's why I'm, I'm building it in this modular fashion. And then we'll just weld the whole lot together again using those little wooden blocks that I made to to do the bulk of the chassis to begin with. And that's the, the floor basically, this is going to form the, uh, the footwell with the pedals in it. Not until I put a nice big bend in it, a bit of radius, a bit of free strength, you know. So yeah, this is one and a half mil uh, sheet steel that I'm using, mild steel. So, um, you know, mildly, mild, mild steel is nice to work with, isn't it? But um, like one and a half, it was kind of getting to the point where I couldn't just uh, 
could just wrap it around something and uh, and tack it in place. I had to put a bit of heat on it. Um, that lets it follow the follow the contour a little bit, a little bit easier. And even then, I didn't get it tight like this, and I had to had to clamp it in place to to make the weld. But um, I've got a nice uh, nice radius in the end. I didn't even burn myself. There we go. Just uh, just tacking the the bent bit of floor pan onto the, the radius sections. Take the axle back off because uh, we're going to use the floor to, to get this all nice and level. It's as level as my floor is. I haven't got a very level floor, but it's, it's good enough for this job anyway. It's not a race car. A racing car. There we go. Now it's upside down because obviously I, I put all the cross members and that um, and that uh, front section in place and couldn't get to the welds underneath so I'm just going around making all those welds good wandering around a bit forgetting the earth clamp and going back to welding you know you know how it is folks don't you hey? <laughs> we've all been there Now onto the um, the mounts for the uh, suspension arms for the front. I'm really trying to use my plasma cut a bit more. Um, been watching Benedict White, Benedict White's channel, and he's he's just picked up a plasma cut on uh, from Little or Audi. You have to check his channel out to find out which. I can't remember, but. Um, well, you know, second time he's picked the torch up and he's already uh, already doing a neater job than I ever have done, you know, so I'm, uh, what, trying to, trying to get a bit more time with it and get a bit more use out of it, because they are handy machines, I just I just don't like the mess they make, but, um, Benedict's got a fun channel, occasionally he'll, he'll bless us with, um, you know, a steam lorry or something like that, quite a few, uh, quite a few bits of the model, model engineers with the, um, in the summertime, with little, live steam ride on locomotives and that you know just getting these welded in place So these are the these are the horns um, that will that will mount the um, coilover shocks to the to the chassis. The uprights, I think I think they're called. They might be weld. Probably wrong. Struts. Strut housing. Oh, I don't know. I'm just uh, yeah, just folding the edges over to put a bit of strength in there. Um, Again, this is just one and a half mil mild steel. I've got a couple of sheets of the stuff for, for the projects coming up. Um, it's pretty cheap at the minute. You watch the watch the steel prices; they always go up and down. But um, yeah, these are these are only like twenty quid a sheet for one meter by two meter, which is pretty pretty good. I mean, that's, I think that's cheaper than plywood, you know. For like, um, it depends where you go, but you can pay that for a bit of six mil ply. And now I'm uh, just just doubling up the sheets with uh, some some heavy washers. So these are uh, pretty thick, um, pretty thick M10 penny washers. And what I'm, I'm just doing them back to back like this. I'm not welding these two sheets together. It's just merely that it saves me um, doing the nut four times if I do two at once. Here we are. Putting those, uh, putting those lovely uprights on. Pretty much, uh, what brings us to a point where these, um, where this thing's going to sit in its own wheels. Right.
Alright then folks, we, we've got all the bits joined together, that was uh, that's all we we're hoping to do on this video. Back axle, engine mount, the engine's obviously not sat in it at the minute, and the and the fronts there. Yeah. Um, as you know, I know it looks a little bit a little bit weak at the minute. The the mud guards and the and the rest of the floor there is gonna gonna tie it all in together, but um well, that requires a few uprights and I'm going to build a just a sort of makeshift um, metal press brake for folding up the, the tip of body so I, I figured I'll do all the tin all the tin work in the following video and then I'll I'll be able to do, do a tidier job perhaps on these uh, on these structural mud guards, <laughs> um, if I've got a if I've got a press brake for folding the metal neatly, um, hopefully get a bit of a radius on it as well, just to make it that little bit that little bit nicer and professional looking. But there we go. Let's try and get a few more shots from different angles. You're not being helpful, Rambo. You're not. You're not helping here. Hey, get a massive, great big nose away. What a humongous nose! Biggest nose in the big biz, bigness business. Here we go. That's about it, folks. All right. Hope you enjoyed the chassis build and catch catch you again for the next one. Okay. Take care, folks. Bye bye.